I'm going to describe to you how my very first day in Colombia went. My actually first real day. So I actually got to Colombia on Monday night. I flew in from Panama City to Bogota. And then from Bogota, I flew into Cartagena. Once again, we are deported on the tarmac. I will never understand. Never understand. It was a layover in Bogota, made it in, in Cartagena. Same time, Monday at night at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I really didn't, didn't, I, I, I really don't count that as a first day. So I wake up on Tuesday and I'm like, let's hit the ground running. Let's see all the sites, let's do all this stuff. Let me explore. And so I'm walking around, I'm seeing all of these gorgeous views. And then I take a free walking tour towards the end of the day. So right around like four o'clock, I go take a walking tour. So much information, so much lovely. It was everything that I needed to know about Cartagena, its people and its history as well. How many The baby. Yeah. yeah, they are bigger. Good. That takes about two and a half hours. Um, and then it slowly turns into dark. And so what I learned is that Cartagena is a different place from the daytime and from the night. Which is good, right? This place is very known for its party and its fun, its festivities. Um, but it's Colombia, right? And so it's also known for a little bit more stuff, right? Colombia is known for drugs, prostitution, illegal activities, violence, and all that stuff. And I always thought that that was whatever, guys. It's, it's just another country that people are fine, it's safe. And to prove that, I went walking around at night like I always do. And uh, just, you know, because I, I believe that the city truly does uh, come alive at night and I love walking around at night. I got some delicious street food at one of the street food vendors. I walked around by myself. I sat by myself in the night, uh, looking at a monument while I eat and just thinking on how, how lucky I am to be here in Colombia and to get to experience Cartagena, all right? It's just, it's, this, this is a blessing. Once I do all that, I then begin to explore. So I'm walking around, I'm, you know, doing what I normally do, just going down random streets, turning left, right, trying to get lost and trying to enjoy the city, all right? I walk down this street and it's very dark, very dark, and I'm like, oh, this is, this is not, this is, this looks kind of sketchy, but I don't believe that they're sketchy people, if that makes sense. Yeah, some people look sus. Some people do have some bad intentions on, on, on their mind. But the majority of people when you travel, especially in countries that you don't know the language and that you're foreign to, uh, there's always something in your brain that's like, oh, every, everybody that I see is bad. But I don't believe that's the case. All right, I have a real question, guys. A real question about that last pick. Do you think people are sketchy? Or are you just afraid of people? Now, when I say this, I mean that I walk down this dark alley, right? Super dark. And to some people, they're like, oh, this is a sketchy alley. No, but the people that are in that alley are just, they're just people. They're just trying to live their lives, doing everything else that everyone else is doing. They just happen to be in the dark alley, looking very sus, I ain't gonna lie, very sus. But they're just, they're just like us, guys. Colombia, okay, now, I, I, from what I heard, it's a horrible place, right? It's a, not a horrible place, but it's a place that, you know, trouble can happen. But I feel like, personally, a lot of the situations are just, you're like your brain, like you're scared of the unknown, you're scared of that. But the people of Colombia are just, they're just people. After that, I come to the hostel and I'm like relaxing. I'm sitting down, chilling, and then, and then I heard it. <laughs> Bro, someone just got f***ing shot. I s*** not. Bro, they just put a 
bloody guy in this guy's truck. Oh my, what the? I'm here chilling guys, I'm here relaxing, uh, I'm in bed. I hear pop, 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 and I'm like, oh, bam. It's kind of close, but I don't even worry about it, right? I don't even worry about it. And then I hear just people screaming outside. So I run up, I open up this window, and I see everybody just huddled all over this guy. And I'm like, I don't know, this is like a traditional thing? Like, what the, like, what's going on? And then some people move, and I see he's bleeding out in his stomach. He's bleeding out in his stomach, bro, and I'm like, what the heck, dude? Like, what the heck is going on? I run, I'll get my phone, and then that's when you see the cop carrying this 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 guy bleeding. They stop a random car, the random car. They throw him in this car and tell him just drive to the hospital. Oh, dude, what the heck? I, I just got done walking like that street and just outside. In a span of literally like in less than an hour, my whole viewpoint changed. Whole viewpoint absolutely changed. Seeing a, a bloody guy get put in a random car and then told to drive out to the hospital right outside my window was absolutely insane. I've been to a lot of countries. I've been, to, I've been in a lot of sketchy situations, a lot of sus situations and it never has turned out like that. Uh, like I said, I love going for night walks. I love it. But this is, this is something else, guys. And the crazy thing is, I will never know if that guy will ever be okay. Just never know. And to see that, guys, to, to see someone get harmed in such a violent way, I thought is crazy. It, out of my past six months of travel, I have not seen that. And I've been around in some, like I said, some, some crazy areas, some areas that most tourists will never go to. And I go there and I'm like, oh, it's just people living their life. Yeah, they're the poor people. They, have the, they got the bad hand of capitalism, but they're just people. But to see actual violence and crime like that with my own eyes was, I think it's truly life, life changing. Uh, like I said, I love walking at night and I don't think that I will be as adventurous at night or even just overall that adventurous, at least while here in Colombia. Colombia is known for, like I, for what I told you before, but I don't know, man. I don't know. So I truly don't know what to say, guys. It, it is. Uh, I slept on it. I prayed on it. I'm like, goodness gracious. Do I stay in Cartagena? Do I leave Colombia? Do I go somewhere else? Do I go go? Do I go back home? Like, what's the move? And and I don't know just yet. I don't know. I got a couple more nights here booked in Cartagena, and I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna maybe. I don't know guys, I don't, I don't know. That was all last night, it's very fresh to me still. And it's just a wild time. See. Hola, hola. No, yo, ex, yo extender dos más. Dos más? Si. Sí. Ah, okay. Quiere aseo? No. Pues. Bueno, gracias. I know this is not like a normal video for me, no, normally I'm, you know, exploring, having a great time, but uh, that stuff is, that stuff is just real. That, and that's really, to be honest, the more I think about it, it's really part, part of traveling to uh, Latin America for one, and also a tad bit countries that have a reputation of uh, this. I'm not saying that's the culture, I'm not saying that's the um, traditions of Colombia, but I'm saying it has a reputation among travelers of being a very, unsafe, sketchy, dangerous, violent country. And I hope that it doesn't get that reputation for me. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for my little 
little therapy session. <laughs> like I said, this has turned into more of a video journal as I continue my travels and less I try to get views on YouTube, but uh, okay. See you in the next one. Happy travels.